Hi dear students, in the last class we discussed the Gauss's law and its integral form and in today's class we start our discussion on the Gauss's law in differential form that is nothing but the divergence of the electric field. Okay, we already learned the Gauss's law in the integral form. That is the surface integral E dot dA is equal to total charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface divided by epsilon 0. Now, this is a surface integral. Here, I will apply the Gauss's divergence theorem. That is, we will apply the Gauss's divergence theorem to the LHS of this equation. That is the Gauss's divergence theorem converts the surface integral into volume integral. Therefore, this can be written as surface integral E dot dA that is LHS of the AK by equation. Then according to Gauss's divergence theorem, this can be converted into volume integral that is del dot E dv then if i apply this one uh, if i put this is equation number one this is two then if i replace the lectures of the equation one by equation two put two in one therefore i can write this as a left hand side of the equation one this is volume integral del dot e dv e c is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon 0. Uh, we have already learned that uh, the charge density rho e c is equal to dq by dv charge per unit volume and from this dq e c is equal to rho dv and the charge enclosed can be written as integration over the volume rho dv. Therefore, I will replace this q enclosed by this expression. Then our equation takes this form volume integral del dot e dv e c is equal to 1 by epsilon 0 times volume integral rho dv. Then if you compare these two equation, then from this equation it is clear that after doing the volume integration the both side will can will be cancelled then del dot e this is equal to rho by epsilon 0 okay this is the differential form of the gauss's theorem or this is a nothing but the divergence of e that is Gauss's law in differential form. What is the physical meaning of this equation? The physical meaning of equation is this one. The divergence of E, that is our source, divergence of E is equal to rho by epsilon 0 means the source of this electric field is the charge density. If somewhere is, if the electric field I, electric field lines is diverging out then the source of this electric field that will be the charge density charge density may be present there source of electric field is nothing but the charge density that is the meaning of this equation now uh, let us do a problem some uh, most of the times we have to write this divergence in terms of the spherical core polar coordinates or in the cylindrical polar coordinates or in the Cartesian coordinates. We have already discussed the divergence in the spherical, the Cartesian and the cylindrical polar coordinates. Let me do a problem in the Griffith textbook. Suppose the electric field in some region is found to be E is equal to K R cube R cap. 
that is electric field is given vector e is equal to k r cube r cap in spherical coordinates okay it is clearly mentioned in spherical polar coordinates the electric field is given where k is some constant find the charge density that is the first question then now we have to strike the relation between the electric field and the charge density relation between e and rho that is we know the gauss's law in differential equation that is del dot e differential form of the gauss's theorem rho by epsilon zero Here the charge density rho is asked therefore rho e is equal to epsilon zero times del dot e what is the uh, del dot e in the spherical polar coordinates del dot e in the spherical polar coordinates that we have already learned 1 by r square do by do r r square e r this is a r component plus 1 by r sin theta do by do theta e theta theta component of e sin theta plus then 1 by r sin theta do e phi by do phi this is the phi component of the electric field okay if you check the given electric field that is we have k r cube r r cap that is this is nothing but the r component r component means this is nothing but e r that is in this divergence of electric field here e r we have to substitute this e that is uh, there is no other term this the given electric field has only the r component only there is no e theta or e phi component therefore these terms will be zero nothing is given therefore this right epsilon zero into divergence of e means 1 by r square into do by do r r square e r means k r cube fine now this k is constant take it outside the second right k epsilon 0 into 1 by r square into do by do r of r power 5 r square r given by unique this is equal to k epsilon 0 by r square into 5 r raised to 4 if it is r square r raised to uh, 4 rotated this will be r square answer is 5 k epsilon 0 r square this is the charge density that is charge density is 5 k epsilon 0 r square the first question is answered now let us go to the second question that is find the total charge contained in a sphere of radius r centered at the origin now we need to calculate the total charge contained in the sphere total charge contained in the sphere Uh, whose radius r is given the charge density is already given rho then how we can find out the total charge because the charge density rho is equal to dq divided by dv charge density is the charge per unit to volume from this dq is equal to rho dv that is the total charge contained is q if you integrate this equation this will be q that is over the volume rho dv 
the row given uh, here is 5k epsilon 0 r square that is uh, row is is equal to 5k epsilon 0 r square where the row is not a constant it varies with the distance if you have a sphere and whose radius is r and if depends on the distance r this row charge density varies since it is a sphere here we have to use the spherical polar coordinate system for the volume that is the volume the spherical polar coordinates the volume is represented by r square sin theta dr or d theta d phi Therefore, our total charge enclosed Q is written as we have the volume integral instead of a row we can substitute this 5 k epsilon 0 r square instead of dv I can substitute r square sin theta dr d theta d phi. Here 5k epsilon 0 we can take it outside. Then while doing the volume integration, we have three parameters dr, d theta, d phi. The dr varies from 0 to r. If you see the figure here, the radius varies from 0 to maximum capital R. And uh, remaining terms r power 4 dr next integration that is for theta that is theta varies from 0 to pi sin theta d theta into for phi 0 to 2 pi d phi then if you, if you do the integration this is 5 k epsilon 0 r power 5 by 5 limit 0 to capital r integration of sin theta will, will be the minus cos theta then this will be 0 to pi uh, d phi integration phi limit 0 to 2 pi then this here the phi will be this phi will be cancelled out the remaining thing is k epsilon 0 r power 5 cos theta will be minus uh, cos by minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that will be the 2 into this will be 2 pi that is uh, 4 pi k epsilon 0 r power 5 that is the total charge contained in the sphere okay these types of problems usually asked in the gate examination gate just net examination now let us discuss the next topic that is the application of Gauss's law the first application is find out the electric field due to the uniformly charged sphere of radius capital R and the total charge contained in the sphere is Q. Here we have three questions. The first one is the field outside the sphere, that is radius R is greater than R. The field on the surface, that is R is equal to R. Field inside the sphere, that is the point is inside the radius R. Let us address the first question, that is the field outside the sphere that is r greater than r region but the question is the field outside the sphere that is this is our sphere and its radius is r we are going to find out the electric field outside the sphere this Radius, this distance is r that is this r is 
greater than r that is we have the gauss theorem e surface integral e dot da is equal to total charge enclosed divided by epsilon zero the sphere is uniformly charged that means the sphere if may be positively charged or negatively charged then the electric field outside means i represent this as a e outside okay that is therefore here i make it a e outside then the angle between the electric field and the area vector if i consider the sphere then the since it is a positively charged the electric field lines will be along this direction the same way the area vector the area vector will also be perpendicular to the surface both have the same direction the angle between them is zero therefore this will be cos zero that is cos zero is equal to one therefore the e, e out i can take uh, outside of the integration that is da is, is equal to q enclosed divided by epsilon zero it is already given that the total charge enclosed is a q that is q is the total charge enclosed in the sphere total charge enclosed in the sphere then i can write q enclosed is nothing but q and the area this area is nothing but the area of the sphere that is e out that area can be written as surface area of the sphere 4 pi r square is equal to q divided by epsilon zero then the electric field outside can easily write this is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon zero q divided by r square if i write the direction of the electric field this will be e r cap this is the expression for the electric field outside the uniformly charged sphere this electric field e that is e out is proportional to 1 by r square now if i consider a point charge point charge q then the electric field at a distance r a from the charge if the charge is placed at the origin of the coordinate system then at the point p the electric field can be written as e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r square r cap then the electric field due to this point charge is similar to the electric field due to this uh, sphere look at this figure if the charges are situated at the origin then the electric field due to this charged sphere outside the sphere that is equal to the electric field due to a point charge at a distance r or simply we can say like this the charged sphere acts as if the charges are concentrated at its center now let us calculate the field on the surface that is the second question electric field on the surface r e is equal to r that is this is our sphere whose radius is r now the surface that is the point of interest that is r is equal to r our gaussian surface that we is exactly lies on the lies on the surface that is we have already know 
the electric field outside just now we have derived 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square r cap now our gaussian surface is at r is equal to r therefore at r is equal to r this equation can be written as e surface is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r square that is the electric field at the surface is given by this expression the third question that we are going to deal is the field inside the sphere that is r less than r this is our sphere and its radius is capital r and now the gaussian surface that we have to construct inside the sphere that is the radius of this gaussian surface r less than r then Gauss's law surface integral e dot dA that is here this is e inside therefore e inside that is equal to charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface that you have to be very careful this q enclosed means the charge enclosed by this Gaussian surface this Gaussian surface in the figure that is whose radius is small r by small r la e Gaussian surface in the la charge on over e charge in the okay either on charge enclosed we note a that is uh, this q enclosed means charge enclosed by the Gaussian surface we know that if it is a positively charged the electric field and the area vector have the same direction uh, therefore from this integration from this step I can move to this step that is e inside into integration dA is equal to uh, the charge enclosed by x around 0 now let me calculate what is the charge enclosed that is if the total charge contained in the sphere is dq divided by dv or dq is equal to rho dv or q is equal to integration rho dv if it is uniformly charged with rho into dv rho i have to get outside also uh, this rho into the volume of the sphere 4 by 3 pi r cube this q is the total charge contained in the sphere the sphere radius is r and the total charge contained in the sphere is this q which means e r radius rula sphere le total charge on q then the total charge contained in a sphere of small radius r that is our q enclosed similar fashion i can write 4 by 3 pi small r cube here i will use this expression here that is e inside into a surface integral da means surface area of the Gaussian surface that is 4 pi r square is equal to instead of q enclosed I can substitute rho into 4 by 3 pi small r cube see here few terms will cancel out 4 pi 4 pi cancel out r cube r square and r cube this will be r square therefore the electric field inside the sphere can be written as e inside 
is equal to rho r divided by 3 epsilon 0. If you are interested to write the magnitude, this will be r cap. This is the expression for the electric field inside a uniformly charged sphere. Electric field inside a uniformly charged sphere. Now, here it is very clear that this electric field he inside is proportional to R. The magnitude of the electric field is proportional to the Gaussian radius R. Gaussian surface. Magnitude of the electric field is directly proportional to the small r. Now let me collect all the result that we have the first case we have seen electric field outside is proportional to 1 by r square and electric field on the surface that is proportional to 1 by capital R square that is the maximum electric field. I can write A max then E inside is proportional to R. Then if I plot the graph of this electric field versus R, then uh, on the x-axis I have the radius and on the y-axis I have the electric field. Then if I fix this is the radius, because r varies along the this direction then this point this is nothing but r is equal to r inside the electric field is proportional to the r therefore this is a straight line this is nothing but e proportional to r then at surface the electric field is maximum at this point the electric field is maximum then if you go away from the center that is e outside that is in, uh, this region it is outside of the sphere the electric field is proportional to 1 by r square that is uh, the picture of 1 by r square is approximately this one here e is proportional to 1 by r square this is a region outside this is a region inside this is a surface okay and uh, if you mark here this is a region r less than r region this is surface and this is r greater than r region this is outside the sphere okay this is all about the electric field due to uniformly charged sphere Thank you very much for watching this lecture.